been a whirlwind last few weeks since the Rio games. Um, tell me what life's been like. Uh, non-stop. Uh, we've had probably a max of like a week at home. So we've been kind of on the road traveling from east to west coast in the U.S. and, and overseas as well. Uh, we just landed back from Milan today here at the Ryder Cup. Um, it's been cool though, you know, I, for me, I, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have Nicole and Boomer travel with me, so it makes it a lot easier. You know, I think going into the Olympics, I didn't really get much time to spend with him, so um, being able now to sort of watch him grow every day, uh, the little small things, like his, I mean, he's started to do a lot of belly laughs over the last couple of days, so it's been great. That Instagram account, over 700,000 followers. How does he cope with it? Tell us about more about it. I mean, it, it's, we were in Chicago last week, and, and Nicole, like, ran across the street to, I don't know, pick something up at a, at a convenience store, and she got recognized and, and, and took a photo with somebody because they recognized him and then turned to her and put two and two together. So it's... Um, I never thought his Instagram account would take off like this. Uh, you know, we, I always love kind of seeing the outfits that he's in and, and kind of dressing him up how we want and kind of just showing what he's been doing. And, and, you know, I think it's a good way for us to keep track of sort of everything that we've had the chance to do with him. Uh, he's been all over the world. Uh, I mean, he's got more stamps in his passport than I think a lot of people have already at four and a half months. Um, so. Uh, it, it, it's been fun, and, and uh, I kind of I took it over. And Nicole sends the photos. I kind of come up with these quirky little lines that, that I that I throw in, and, and uh, we have a blast with it. Ryder Cup, Europe is going for a fourth straight victory. What will it take, in your opinion, for the USA to get one on the board? You know, I think we have a great team, and you know, you heard DL3 say it could be the best team that they've ever put together, and. Uh, you know, I think just being able to have the dynamic of everybody that you have on the team uh, and the dominance that I think the U.S. has had this year in golf. I mean, we have like four or five guys in the top ten. Um, so it, it, it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, I'll have a chance to talk to the guys today. Um, and, you know, I, I, and I will say, you know, I think, I think they'll have a little extra um, momentum or excitement or I don't know what you want to call it but uh, if I was in their shoes I would want to win for Arnie um, you know I think they'll, they'll they could get the job done I think they will uh, I'm rooting for them and tipping teams USA uh, I mean, it's it's. Uh, I, I think I looked at the at, at the at the odds, and I think it's pretty much it's pretty much like 50-50. Like, I mean, I, I don't think it swings one way or the other. But um, I'm pulling for the USA, obviously, and and uh, it'll be a fun week of golf. You know, this this is this is like the Olympics of golf, and and uh, you know, hopefully, we can get one under the belt.